Hey there, it's Gypsy Faye, or Faye Gillian, and I got a question for you. Who were you before you had MS? What were your dreams? What was it like to be you then, before you started to have the pain and the numbness and the eye problems, speech problems? What was your life like? What did you want for yourself? The reason I ask you that is because I was thinking earlier about some of the things that I want to do still in this life and how some of them I cannot do because of my disease and other things that um, I can still do. Like, I'll give you an example. One thing that I've always, 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 always wanted to do was I've always wanted to be on The Amazing Race. Okay, so I don't walk as good as I did. I certainly don't run. Um, climbing up hills, I don't think so. I mean, there are a lot of things, you know, that when it comes to The Amazing Race, I could probably do bungee jumping or skydiving, but I doubt very seriously if they're going to let me on the amazing race. Anyway, just because I have MS, it doesn't mean that I can't live the amazing race. I can alter that dream and turn it into something else. Like, I can have my own amazing race. I can travel around the world. I can make challenges for myself that are doable for me. And I can still have that experience of, you know, an amazing race. I'm not going to win the million dollars, okay. True, no million dollars. But I can still have the experience. I can still live the dream. So that's my point. My point is, is that Whatever you had as a dream when you were younger, maybe like 5 or 10, 20, 25, before your diagnosis, whatever your dream was, that dream is still possible. It may have to be revised. It may have to be changed as far as the time limit or the time that it takes to do it. But it doesn't mean that it has to be dead and that you have to put it in a corner. You still have a life. Having MS doesn't mean that you're just MS. And it doesn't mean that we're all poster children and, and billboards that are walking and rolling around just advertising disease. We can also roll and walk and advertise something else, which is strength. We do have it. It's amazing to me. I said amazing again, but it is. It's amazing to me as I look at the forums online and I, go, I look at all the different groups on Facebook and I see the people, what they're saying and their stories. And this is a strong group of people. We have something about us that a lot of people in this world don't have. We get up every day with uncertainty and with constant change and we don't have any guarantees and we know it and yet we still get up every day. It's, uh, it's so refreshing, honestly, to be part of this group. No, I didn't ask to be in this club. But you know what? If I had to be in a club based on a disease, then this is definitely the one I wanted. When I first was diagnosed with MS, um, when they first saw the, the very first lesion, they said it was either a stroke or MS. And I remember the doctor saying to me, well, hopefully it's a stroke because you don't want MS. And I think about that every now and then, because if I could find that doctor, 
and I haven't seen him for years, I would say, you know what? I'm glad it was multiple sclerosis and not the stroke. Because the people I've met and the challenges that I've overcome and that I've seen other people overcome in this community, you can't, you can't put money on it. There's no, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It touches me. Every single day, it touches me. And these are the people that I want to help. I want to help all of us. Because we are a group. We are a community. And we are a family, actually. And if you're somebody who's got a mess and you're online with all the other people that uh, are in the groups, like on Facebook, you know that we truly are a family. Um, so I'm talking to you like I would talk to my children or my brothers or my sisters. Don't give up. I know we get depressed. I know we get sad. And it gets tiring, you know, the shots and the pills and the, the leg braces and inconveniences. It gets very, very tiring. But don't give up on your life. When I say that, I mean don't give up on doing the things that you've always wanted to do with your life. You can still do them. Think about today how you can make that happen. What can you do that you can change? What can you change in your life that can actually make a difference? That can show you that you can have the life you envisioned years ago. Sometimes I'm at a loss. I'm just glad to be here. And I love you guys. See you next time.